Hey guys, I am back again with another wig show and tell and today's wig is brought to you by Hair So Fly Shop. So I'll be sure to leave a link below to this wig and also their direct store. Y'all know the drill, let me get the wig. <laughs> Alright, so the brand of the wig that I have today is Bobby Boss. I have one of their lace front premium fiber wigs. The style that I have is MLF74 Copper in the color BA1410. This wig is curling iron safe, it doesn't say the amount of degrees, but I would not use it no higher than 300 to be honest and it states that it's super fitting without tape or glue so this is a old goodie you guys here is the wig this wig was so popular we thought this color would be so cute for the fall time and it is and it's a bob you can't go wrong with a bob boo so as you can see the texture on the wig the texture on the wig is a light yakky texture it feels really nice but it has like a silky touch to it but you can still feel that coarse texture the lace is a swiss lace this is a side part the side that it's on is the right side on the inside of the wig you get two combs not too far from the temple you also get another comb in the back with adjustable straps as for the hair color you see your burgundy and in the back it has this bright red color underneath so you know when I be flashing it it's gonna be giving little peekaboos also for the parting let's see the parting the parting ain't bad you guys okay two wigs without partings that I don't have to pluck like yes I love that all right so this should be pretty simple. I'm just going to go ahead and cut the lace and come right back to you guys. And you guys, a lot of you guys should know how to cut lace. You know, you just take your scissors and cut the lace off along the hairline. Please cut your lace, ladies, because I said this before and I'm going to say it again. One time I was on the bus in New York and I seen a lady wear her wig with the lace still attached. I'm just like... Like, does she need help? Like, I'll cut it for you right now for free. Like, uh, but I just left it alone. I don't know. I just be minding my business because this is New York City. People crazy. Anyway, let me go cut the lace. So if you guys are curious where I hooked my adjustable straps, this is how I hooked it. Uh, now let me pop that on. So now I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me powder and just apply some of that powder on top of the lace in the parting to make it look a little bit more wider. Right here is pretty much my end results and like I said before this is a old goodie synthetic wig. This wig is not new to the game so it was just like me and hair so I was like let us bring something back with a cute color for you guys. So the size on this wig is big head friendly if you have a big head. If you have a small head just tie the adjustable straps or crisscross the adjustable straps. As for a shine on the hair to me this wig does come with a shine so I would go in and dim down with dry shampoo if I was you but also the shine isn't too bad. It's really my ring light making it look super shiny and I'm not sure how it looks in natural sunlight but as for the density on the hair to me the density is in the like in the medium side so eh, i 
I think it's good. I think the density is fine for this wig. It's not too thick, not too thin. As for shedding, I got a little bit of shedding, super little bit. And the lace blends really nice with my skin. They did a good job with the lace. Let me not forget tangling. I got zero tangles. And to me, the hair ends is cute, but I wasn't feeling it all the way, but I still tried to work my magic. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll get back to them as soon as possible. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Later, you guys.